Wine Passport, a new and different way to discover the world of Italian wine with Francesca Negri, the famous Italian wine blogger. In each episode, Francesca makes the dreams of a foreign tourist come true, leading everyone in an exciting journey through amazing vineyards, ancient wine cellars, folk traditions and breathtaking landscapes, opening the doors of the most famous Italian wine producers. Are you ready to sip? Today, I'm in Veneto region and I have an appointment with Steve model and photographer. He wants to be the testimonial of a new experience to photograph the soul of wine. Who better than me can help him with this? I'm 33 years old. I'm a stranger in Af. My mother is American, Af, while my dad is Italian from Veneto. I work as a photographer and I get a job for a world wine. That's why I contact Francesca, because I, I need to know something more about this wonderful world. Ciao Steve! Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I was uh, really surprised uh, to receive uh, your request. Uh, I was asked to me, what does uh, a photographer want uh, from me? <laughs> I, I want to explain you. I'm a fashion photographer, yeah. uh, but I get uh, work for uh, the world of the wine. Uh -huh. So, for one time, my mother... Will I be? No, the bottle of wine. Oh, what a pity. <laughs> okay, but you have chosen the right person. I know. I will organize a beautiful trip uh, among the vineyards of wow. Suave before there is uh, a thing to do. I Give me your passport! I know, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Another thing, uh, for our trip uh, we need uh, to jump back in the past. Okay. And uh, I have uh, a thing uh, for you. Francesca, wow, Francesca, she's really beautiful. She could be a wine model. This is for you. Thank you. It's a many, surprise. Many bottles of wine for me. Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Let me see. Meet me out uh, in a while, okay? Okay. Francesca told me about surprise, but I was thinking about wine. But finally, this was the surprise. This is the right dress to leave uh, the atmosphere of the medieval event that every year this place uh, dedicates to his wine. Soave is something more than a wine. It has a strong tradition and is still alive. This is uh, the intronization of the new chatelain of uh, Imperial Castellana di Suavia that is uh, the first Italian wine brotherhood made only by uh, women. I think to understand what I have to capture in my picture, the passion of a country for a noble product. It's not water. It's <laughs> yes, it's wine. It's so <laughs> I don't know if Francesca knows, but I'm also addicted in films. And in Fellini, La Dolce Vita, Mastroianni talk about Soave wine. You know, in my mother country, the state, that I also feel a bit of my own country, yeah. uh, this Soave wine is well known. It is the top of the top, 100 chart made in May. 2017 by wine enthusiast, a famous wine magazine that you should know. Yeah, I, I know it because it's uh, one of the most important in the world. <laughs> Cru identify a very special wine and uh, the consortium here in Suave has identified 70 Cru. And some of them we are going to taste now. in a calcareous and volcanic soil and uh, for this reason it's called uh, uh, volcanic wine volcanic in all sense really and the secret of this wine is its uh, grapes that are garganica and ancient uh, grapes uh, of this area 
and with a hint of Trebbiano di Suave for the perfect Suave wine. Today I discovered many flowers of the Suave wine, green apple, citrus, uh, hay, iris, rose, uh, exotic fruits and many, many other. And then there is uh, elderberry, lime and maybe Steve uh, forgot to, to say violet. Now I have a surprise for Steve. I have organized a special gourmet dinner. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I would nice like to, to introduce you, Steve, Hi. our guest. Hi, nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. This day, yes. Uh, well, welcome at the uh, Rocco's Veva. Thank you. Let's go to see the winery. Yes. Perfect. Come on. Go. Let's go. Let's go. So we are now in the in the heart of the of the of the winery. Mm -hmm. A lot of history, and this history was made with our growers. Today we are approximately 2,200 growers with approximately 6,000 hectares. So we are a very important uh, wine reality in Italy. And how many bottles? We produce approximately 30 million bottles. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly Suave, but not only. We have also a very good production of uh, Valpolicella and then a very uh, traditional one, which is uh, Durello. Mm -hmm. And here we are in a place where we produce our, our top uh, Spumante. Metodo Classico, Equipe Cinque. And what about Roccasueva? Roccasueva is, is a special project um, that, was, uh, that we started in 2003. It's uh, focused very much on a very high quality. And so we have also a very special quality project which is going on with our growers outside. And so we have a strong team outside in the vineyards. At the same time, a very good team in the cellar that is able to make uh, out of these beautiful grapes the best possible wines. But I know that uh, you have a special uh, control system uh, here. Uh, could you talk about it? Uh, because of yeah, over really many, many years we tried to understand how we can understand the, the, the quality of our grapes. And so we have this, uh, this, this system that uh, in a very short time, in one minute, analyzes 17 different parameters. And uh, based on this uh, different uh, analysis, we decide what we do with the, with the different bunches of grapes. Wow, incredible. So, uh, old tradition uh, helped or improved uh, with technology. With technology, yes. We have to taste some wine. Of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> we let's want go. to taste let's some go. wine. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's start. Okay. Let's go. Finally, here uh, is uh, Margherita, one of the beautiful girls of uh, Cantina di Suave, of uh, the hospitality team. Right. And uh, now, finally, we taste uh, the wines <laughs> of uh, Cantina di Suave. I can't wait. Right, Margherita? Here we have a vintage 2012. Equip Cinque is produced with two vines, Chardonnay for the 80% and Pinot Noir for the 20%. If you taste it, I have already done it. I already taste it. I'm sure you I can't wait. <laughs> you can appreciate nice, nice. this really freshness, yeah. this nice perlage, really fine and persistent. Uh, I really like it, and in this location, it's wonderful to drink it. Yeah, everything it's here, the, the wine, and <laughs> the perfect place for everything. Let's start now with Suave Classico DOC. The Organica grape is the native vine from Suave. And with this grape, we produce this beautiful wine. Okay. See? See? Yeah, pretty. What kind of help? I'm here to learn, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> Guys, it's 
time for Valpolicella Superiore Ripasso. Oh. Time for red. Oh, wow. Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Okay. Okay. Use three grapes, Corvina, Molinara and Rondinella. Beautiful place, amazing wine. That's why I live in Italy. Uh, a really nice so wine much. to enjoy with good friends. Do you have an idea, <laughs> an idea for, uh, about this wine? you create a special recipe that uh, fits perfect with uh, this uh, kind of uh, wine okay sure. so we have to taste I asked to Margarita to open the bottle yes. <laughs> sure, why not I would say inspired by the wine naturally inspired by you I would say a tortello fatto in casa con l'inchiostro di seppia, c'è una pasta nera, farina, uova e inchiostro di seppia, ripieno di baccalà mantecato e il profumato al giurello e poi servito con una salsa a base di zafferano e crema di grana. E se avete un po' di pazienza vi facciamo vedere anche come funziona, anzi vi facciamo collaborare con noi. Wow, ok, guys, nice. what do you think? I'm inspired from this atmosphere and I will fix some picture of you. Ok, yes, yeah? but no, but you have to help me to cook a Of course, yeah. Okay. 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 I will. Ok. okay. So Steve, our wine adventure is finished. I hope you enjoy it. Of course. And uh, you understand uh, something more about the soul of wine. Of course. Thank you, Francesca. It was an amazing experience for me. Uh, one of the best I had in my life, I suppose. Uh, and uh, now I know much more about the wine world and uh, this could be uh, really important for my photo shooting I have to take with wine. Good. So. Now, uh, one thing to do. Uh, I have to yeah. give you back your passport but before I have to stamp it uh, with a uh, uh, wine passport stamp. Okay. okay? <laughs> so. Thank you so much, Francesca. Thank you.